Okay guys, so here we go. Welcome to part two of the Fitbit setup. So of course, uh, go to fitbit.com slash setup and uh, we'll click on the page here. So of course, uh, this is where you download your software and all that good stuff. So first thing you gotta do is go down and select your operating system. You have Mac, you have uh, Mac 10.5, PC, and XP. Now go up here and select your Fitbit device. You have the Zip, the One, the Flex, the Force, the Charge, Charge HR, and the Surge. And then uh, click the Download Here button. Okay, so now a little thing pops up at the bottom here where it says, do you want to run or save Fitbit Connect uh, Win 20141212.0, you know, blah, 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 blah. So you say uh, run, and over here it says a little um, blurb here where basically it tells you uh, how much it's downloading. Now everything is running security stands and all that good stuff. So right here after it's downloaded the software, it asks you to select a region. So we will select Canada because that's where I am. And then hit OK. Welcome to Fitbit Connect Setup Wizard. This setup wizard will install Fitbit Connect to your computer. Click Next to continue or cancel to exit the setup wizard. So of course you have all that good stuff about user agreements and all that. So you accept it and then hit Next. Click Next to install the default folder or click Change to choose another. Click install to begin the installation or click back to review or change any or installation settings. So install. And of course the computer asks you for permission. And then it starts doing the uh, installation. Complete the Fitbit Connect Setup Wizard. Click the finish button to exit Setup Wizard. And then you go down here to finish up here pretty much it goes to another uh, window here you want to set up a new Fitbit device create a new account to set up your device so of course you enter an email address and create a password and then basically you're good to go so I will do that and then we'll check back in so after you've done your email and all that good stuff it uh, goes to another screen here we gotta put in your full name select your gender uh, your birth date, your height, your weight, and all that good stuff. Uh, select your time zone and uh, stuff like that. And then basically, so then you hit your sign up button and you're good to go. So of course, again guys, I will fill all this out and then uh, take it all from there. Okay, so after you've done all that uh, information about your height, weight, and all that good stuff, uh, it says to select your Fitbit device. So it says meet your Fitbit charge. Of course, you have your wireless dongle, your charging cable, and of course your Fitbit wristband itself. So hit next. So it says power on your charge, press and hold the button for three seconds. If nothing happens, plug your charge into the charger. Now, of course, I've already charged this uh, device. It takes about two hours to charge. It says to plug in the dongle. So of course um, your computer will install device driver and software. So after it's done all that, pretty much it's updating now. Hold tight and don't unplug your wireless dongle. Okay, so after it's installed uh, all the drivers through your wireless dongle, in the next screen it says, we found a charge, enter the number on your charge's display. Now if this camera will focus, it's 0617. So we'll enter that. And then hit next. So 
So it says connecting Fitbit. This may take several minutes. Hold tight. This can take five to ten minutes. Uh, during that time, of course, a little um, bar shows up on the device itself to pretty much uh, say how, you know, kind of show you the progress. Okay, guys, so after that, the update's complete now. It'll sync whenever it's win within 20 feet of the wireless dongle. So, of course, um, hit next. Wear and care. Clean your band wrist regularly with soap-free cleaner. If the band gets wet, remove and dry thoroughly. Leave enough room for fingers to fit between the band and your wrist. If you notice skin irritation, remove the device. For more info, please review Fitbit's complete wear and tear tips. So of course, put on the wristband, align the clasp and squeeze between your thumb and forefinger until you feel it's secure. View your daily stats. Press the button to see your daily activity stats. You know, steps, floor climb, distance, calories burned. Track exercise. Start and stop exercise tracking on your charge by hold down the button till it vibrates. Charge can receive notifications for phone calls. Charge will vibrate and show the name or number of the caller. Of course, this is when it's paired with a smartphone. To start, your goal is set to 10,000 steps. Charge will vibrate when you reach your goal. So after you've done all that, it goes to another screen. If you wear your charge on your dominant hand, you know, the one you use to write or eat, you'll want to update your device settings for optimal accuracy. Pretty much, you know, with your dominant hand, you know, you're always moving it, always using it. It'll basically throw the results off by a little bit. So, you know, your steps might be a little higher because you're wearing it on your dominant hand or display options. You can customize what you see on your charge display, of course, in the device settings. Change the order in which your stats appear. Hide stats that don't interest you. Change the clock face style. Track progress against one main goal on charge. Additional goals can be set and tracked on your dashboard. Main goal, you will feel a vibration when you meet this goal. Change which stat is selected as your main goal in the device settings. Call notifications, charge can receive notifications from phone calls, turn on notifications from account settings in the Fitbit mobile app. Charge will vibrate and show the name or number of the caller. Silent alarms. You can set up alarm in the settings or using the Fitbit mobile app. Make sure to sync after setting the alarm. When an alarm is set, your charge will show your next alarm time. So pretty much this is my stats right here. Uh, as of right now, I've done zero steps of 10,000. Uh, pretty much this is tracking my uh, steps throughout the day, a 24-hour period. There is no recent exercise. There's no uh, sleep um, stats or nothing like that. Um, pretty much I have uh, 118 calories to burn today. Of course, with no active minutes, uh, no active uh, kilometers, zero floors, 64 ounces of water to drink. So over here in the top right-hand corner, you have a little uh, gear. You click that. Of course, it says uh, charge tracker here. Um, it gives you your battery, uh, gives you your battery level. So, of course, you want settings. And basically, this is where you do all your um, settings here, like preferences. We have uh, United States for the language. Uh, week starts on Sunday, or week starts on Monday if you uh, have a Monday to Friday job. You can set your clock at 12 hours or 24. I uh, set your time zone if you made a mistake in the original setup. So of course you click the silent alarm in the settings here. You go up to add an alarm. And then click whether it's AM or PM. And you can do if it's a one time deal or it repeats. And you can select whatever days you want it to repeat on. 
Don't forget your newly set alarms won't appear on your tracker until the next sync. Well guys, that's pretty much how I installed my software and all that good stuff for my Fitbit charge. Of course there are plenty of videos there online to give any tips or tutorials on how to do it yourself. Of course guys, thanks for watching this video and as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe and enjoy.